as there are snakes and sharks in the world. Terrorism exists in as many forms as there are snakes and sharks in the world. Some crawl under your bedroom door and slither across the floor with a gun and a can of mace to be sure to contain you because you're being dangerous in bed with your anti-government thoughts and you must be contained so our country can say we're attacking a third world country and killing babies there for good reasons and because we're a free country and that's why everyone hates us and we're going to destabilize them until we get our pipelines through to all their coasts. And if it leaves a lot of blood, like eight railroad tank cars full of coagulated blood and stringy intestines of babies and torn out lungs of pregnant wives because we're doing it all in the interest of profits and humanity. And we may even loan you, you money to clean up the mess if you toe the line. Like we said, lots of guts and blood. Our anti-terror nuclear bombs are humanitarian because they explode so quick and total that you don't even know what else need, even needs to be dead in the, in the end for the rest of time. So what the hell difference does it make? And Cheney and Bush don't want to talk to Arafat because the first fighter pilot for the U.S. in the Gulf War that was shot down was a Sunday school teacher. We were wondering if maybe he's still alive and this is a good story to dredge it up to get the goddamn American people pissed off about one more thing. But well, do you know what I mean? I asked you if you know what I mean. So answer me and you better include that we are a free country, okay? And after all, it, it was the president who said 5,000 babies a month dying in Iraq every month is okay, even if they are darling and have blonde hair and dark hair and blue eyes and brown eyes and smashed eyes and blood stains. They're to blame because they showed up in Iraq that attacked Kuwait that the English split off from Iraq for some good reason when England could do anything anywhere it wanted to, like we can now. And don't bother calling it imperialism because we're a free country. Yeah, but we're not terrorists because we don't include governments in terrorism. We call it policy. And we're only interested in desperate people who can't move a muscle in our grip. So do things like strap explosives around the lovely waistlines of young Palestinian girls to go off and kill some of your Israelis in the occupying army, armed and paid by the fascist United States. But we don't admit it, say it's the Israelis being their own genuine satellite selves. So it's okay because we don't count murder and destruction of cities if done by the U.S. government. Remember, God damn it, that's not terrorism, that's policy. It's not terrorism, it's policy. Our thousands of nuclear bombs are terrorists because they don't cause drawn out pain, they end everything right now. And that's how we deal with terror. Sometimes Bush thinks the terrorists think he's kidding. But terrorism can't be taken lightly. Terrorism and terrorists figured out what Kosovo and Afghanistan and some other places really needed after we got all the oil wells, oil wells drilled. The worst thing is the bleeding hearts at home who don't think we need a lot of money out on those borders to legitimize Ashcroftistan and Afghanistan. Boom. March 2002.